Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today I'm going to showcase a little program I created that demonstrates Conway's Game of Life. So let's just actually showcase what I have. So, the Game of Life is a very simple simulation based on a starting seed. We have some conditions we're going to go through, and based on then we're going to run what looks kind of random, but it's actually based on some very simple rules. And I created a very simple program where I can start the animation stop it or just go through the generations but let's look at what actually is being done so conway's game of life is based on four rules more or less where i first have a grid let me showcase a starting grid we have zeros which is like dead and ones which is alive and then we're going to go through all of the grid spots in the grid any live cell with fewer than two live neighbor neighbors dies as if by underpopulation. So adding some fun stuff at the end. But more or less, if we have less than two neighbors, the cell die. Any live cell with two or three live neighbors live on to the next generation. So if we have more than two neighbors, we live, uh, live on to the next generation. Any live cell with more than three live neighbors die as if overpopulation. So we need to be in the sweet spot between two and three. Or have two or three less than two we die more than three we die as well any dead cell with exactly three live neighbors becomes a live cell so we have this loop going through where depending on the cells around it something happens so more or less any live cell with two or three live neighbors survive any dead cell with three live neighbors become a live cell all other live cells die in the next generation similarly all other dead cells stay dead so that's more or less the loop so what i'm simply doing i have my controller where i have a game of life pane controlling drawing my simulation and i have game of life object taking care of the creating the next generation so let's actually first just look at the game of life part which is actually kind of simple so we take in the grid which i just showcased we then find the size of the grid, length and the width. We then just simply go through every cell by doing a double for loop. And then again inside a specific cell, we go through all the neighbors, in this case including itself. So we go through like the nine squares and find all the live cells in the squares, eight squares around and itself at first. Then we remove itself if it was alive. Then we simply do the checks. If the grid is alive and have less than two neighbors, die. If the cell is alive, have more than three neighbors, die. If the cell is dead, but have exactly three neighbors, become alive. Else, stay the same. And in this case, we just return the newly created grid based on this going through all the cells in a grid. And I'm just simply drawing it. Or passing it to my game of life pane, called the paint method, which just simply finds the size of the grid. I'm just assuming it's a square with the same height and width. Then finding the size of our specific pane window, and then we're just simply drawing squares using some simple math to find the size of the squares based on the max size of the window and the amount of squares we need, and just drawing them one by one. And just simply checking if this grid area is alive. Make it a black square. If it's dead, make it white. And we, in this case, just simply creating a new generation, drawing a new generation, creating a new generation, drawing a new generation. So we, in this simple step, I'm just doing it manually. Otherwise, I created a timeline, which is animation class inside JavaFX, where we just every 0 0.25 seconds is creating a new generation and drawing this new generation. So this is pretty much the basic setup I have, where I simply have a one class taking care of the creation of my game of life simulation, one class taking care of the pane that's drawing the simulation, and then inside my controller class, pulling it all together and drawing. Let's actually try creating a few different, see if we can get a, something going. 
But the interesting part of this is it's based on a seed. Kind of, as you can see, we have this starting position. And then we could technically calculate infinite amount of future steps. But that's the part of it. He wanted it to convoy, created this game of life. to be kind of random. As you can see, it looks random, but it actually isn't. And sometimes we end up getting... For example, in this case, we ended up having this end state, which just keeps switching, and we're going to go nowhere. And because, of course, it's based on the seed, so if we run it again, we would get exactly the same outcome. Nothing will change. It's exactly the same. So we just give it a second. As you can see, we end up in the exact same state. So that's Converse Game of Life and how I created it with Java and Java FX to draw it and showcase. Hope you enjoyed this video and my small simulation of the Game of Life. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.